Hi everyone and welcome to part 24 of The Sims 4 Seasons. So Rachel goes off to school soon, but she's just starting off her day by giving Rosemary some attention. Although the school bus, uh, you know what, actually should have left her school already, so we should let her do that. But I just wanted to see if first we could have her join after school activity because I really wanted to put her in the scouts program because I forgot to do that in the last part and... I've just been so excited to finally explore that part of the game because, yeah, prior to this, we, of course, have not got a chance to do that. So we're going to join the scouts. So let's read this. Hey, Whippersnapper, do you have what it takes to be a scout? Whip out that compass and volunteer today. As a virtuous scout, you'll do fun activities with your troop and learn what it takes to be an upright member of your community. So I think they meet 2 to 4 p.m. on the weekends. So we won't have to worry about doing anything with this until the next day. But we'll just let her get off to school now because she is running a little bit late, so go to school. And uh, Ray, or Robin actually needs to go to school as well, so we'll just make sure both of them get off because they are running a little bit late. And I did, of course, give Rachel a makeover and set up her outfits and all that, so I'll show those shortly. And I did also change around some things in the room. I didn't really bother recording any of it because I didn't do a whole lot to the room. And I don't know, I, I didn't really want to take up time in this part with giving Rachel a makeover or I, I also didn't feel a need to make a separate video for it because I don't know I don't really think child makeovers are exciting as adult or teen makeovers but anyway what I did in the room was I of course changed out the bed for one that she can now sleep in I got rid of the Christmas tree put the Lego table back we also got the stuffed animal oh wow she hates this cat does she like it Oh, I guess she hasn't really gotten a chance to get a relationship with it, but I don't know why Robin hates it so much. I think she might have beaten it up when she was feeling a little mad, but yeah, we just got the toy box here. I also got the scouting board, of course, because we got to have that so we can view our badge progress. We can also collect the badges. She, of course, isn't able to get any of them yet, but we've got an arts and craft badge. We've got a scientist badge. We've got a social ability badge, scholarly aptitude, outdoor act adventurer badge. Keep fit badge, good deeds, give back, civic responsibility. So that's just really cool. So I think um, we're not, yeah, we're not able to do this because she's not on the lot. But I definitely would check that out later because I guess it'll give us some insights into what we have to do to get the badges. But I also find it interesting that they gain fame from getting badges, which is kind of weird because I, you know, like I feel like it's kind of weird that someone would become like a rising star for getting scout badges. <laughs> but I mean, I guess a teeny fate fame boost kind of makes sense because... I have heard about people doing incredible things for their Eagle Scout project or whatever the, I forget what the equivalent of that was in Girl Scouts. I should know because I was a Girl Scout in the past, but I completely forget. But um, yeah, I've heard about people doing incredible things for those and then actually becoming a little famous for that, like getting an article made about them that gets read a lot or that kind of a deal. So I guess in that way, it sort of makes sense. And Eve, why are you, I guess she's uh, congratulating them from the great beyond for having her birthday i don't know whatever <laughs> all right so what is she doing so she is shoveling snow let's actually have her go up here really quick and then plan outfits because i did want to show you all rachel's outfits really quickly for move on to what else i was going to do in the part but as far as what else is going to go on madison does have off work today and for the first time since the beginning of the series she does not have to worry about taking care of rachel so what i wanted to have her do was hang out with her friend julia because we haven't really had her spend a whole lot of time with her so I just want to have the two of them go to a cafe that I placed in Newcrest and hang out there for a little bit. And then once it gets to about 2 p.m. in the part, I did want to switch over to Brendan's household. Because as I said in the last part, today is also going to be Connor's birthday. So I set up a whole birthday party for him. And I just wanted to go over there a few hours before the party starts, which is at 4. And just play as him for a little bit, just do that, because there were some things that I wanted to show. So as far as Rachel's outfits, here are her pajamas, which we already saw. And then this is her first everyday wear outfit, and I was trying to give her a playful look, like a casual playful style, because I thought that went with the rambunctious scam trait, or not trait, um, aspiration that I gave her. So this is her first outfit, this is her second, and then this is her third one, and then here's her formal wear and then we have her athletic wear. And then we already saw her sleepwear, so we're just going to skip right over that. And then this is her party wear. Because I was also trying to give her a slightly mismatchy look, too. Although, it doesn't, it's not really that mismatchy, but, you know, just, just playful, like not perfectly put together. And then here we have her swimwear. Then we have her hot weather outfit. And then lastly, we have her cold weather outfit, which is really cute. Um, so, yeah, those are her outfits. And now that we've done that, I'm going to get Madison on out to hang out with her friend Julia.
So now that we're back here, let's get on with that. So we'll just go ahead and travel and uh, pick her. I think she was friends with her, right? Okay, apparently not. Oh no, they are friends. I guess they're not good enough friends to show up in there, but all right, so we'll get her on out, travel, travel with her, hang out at a cafe. So I think that'd be really nice. Like, I think it will be good to just have Madison do something that's not either work-related or taking care of Rachel, because I feel like that's been her life the past year ever since she took Rachel and Robin in. So I think it'll just be really good for her to do this. Um, yeah, so the, we're going to be heading to Mr. Bookworm because I am slowly filling out this lot. I need to build something to go here, so that's something I'll be doing shortly. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go here to Mr. Bookworm. So it's just this cafe that I think it's supposed to be like a bookstore slash cafe, but you can't have one lot be two types, so it's just a cafe. But yeah, it's a really cute lot. And this was made by Simperhand, so I'll try to remember to put a link in the description to it because... I just thought that was su this was such a cool lot. Like, it's got kind of a hipstery vibe to it. It's just really neat. So I thought this would be a cool place for the two to then hang out. And it looks like it's actually not snowing here in Newcrest. Yeah, it was pretty snowy back in um, San Mashuno. And oh yeah, this is also the house that they're going to be owning. And it looks like someone came and decorated for New Year's Eve. I don't know, I guess um, we'll just say that they came and did that. Like, they've been... You know, stopping by the house and they decide, I, I mean, personally, I wouldn't choose to put decorations on a creepy abandoned house I'm not living in, but, you know, maybe they decided to just be a little festive because they can't decorate their apartment, so since this is technically theirs right now, they're just doing some decorating. Yeah, because surely they're going to be moving in and starting the renovations, which are very exciting. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually have them visit here before then, but, you know, obviously they have because they put up some decorations. So it looks like she's already on ordering a drink. Yeah, so these two just have their drinks. So let's find somewhere for the two of them to sit down and chat. So we'll just have them sit together over here. And then they can just talk about life. So maybe we can have her boast about her family a little bit and about how proud she is of Rachel and how happy she is that she's finally starting school and she's, as much as she loves her, she's getting a little bit of a break. So there we go. Boast about family. Maybe complain about the cold a little bit. So yeah, we could try to build up their friendship a little bit because, uh, yeah, we'll claim, complain about the wind. Yeah, because I feel like her friendship with Julia is one that she's been neglecting because everyone else in the gardening group are parents. So she's kind of been hanging out with them over that. But yeah, now that she's getting a little bit of a break, just catching up with her. So we'll tell not read a story. Flash crazy eyes. She's feeling a bit playful. What does she want to do? So she wants to pester someone. Maybe we won't do that. Buy a pet bed. Ooh. Oh, there's not enough room for one, though, but we should definitely get a pet bed for Rosemary at some point. We could do that once they move out. Like, I'm just so excited for them to have more space and be able to get things that they can't fit in their apartment now. Like, like I talked about in the last part, I'm really excited to get her the video station and have her start on making some videos of her doing floral arranging. Because we will actually have room for the floral arranging station at the house. So we can do that. And who is this? Oh, I think that's just a game-generated sim. Oh, wait, no, that's Nikki's dad. I was thinking, I was like, thinking he looked familiar. Yeah, that's who he is. He's Nikki's dad. All right, so we get to know her a little bit. And I want to see if there was a foosball table or any kind of activity here. I don't think there was, but I just want to check. All right, so we got the bathrooms over here. What was upstairs? Oh, there was a foosball, foosball table. Yeah, I thought there was. So let's get them on doing that afterwards because they did get their drinks. So we'll play with Julia. And I think the foosball table is also a really good way for them to bond. Like, I think it's something that gets their relationships up really well. So we do have an hour and a half. So I think after this game wraps up, we'll switch gears over to Brendan because I'm just really excited to play as him for a little bit, you know, just to do something different. And I really like how there's just these stacks of books all over here. Like, just the whole aesthetic of this place is really cool. Um, yeah, because um, Simperhead, they shared this with me on Twitter. And I was like, okay, I got to add this into the safe off for this because it's just perfect for the vibe I was going for with this area. Alright, so let's get a picture of these two playing their game. Yeah, I'm not sure who's winning. We can't really tell, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess we'll find out who's winning at the very end. Looks like she did something good. Yeah, so I guess Julie is winning right now. And I wanted to see if this place was also decorated for New Year's Eve because I just really like looking at the decorations. Oh yeah, it is! Yeah, it's just so cool to see everything decorated. Although I feel like New Year's Eve is a holiday that you typically don't decorate for like this. But I mean, it's, it's still cool to see in the game. I still like that that's a thing that happens in the game. Um, I don't think we can talk to her while we're playing it. Or maybe we could try. Yeah, I think it's going to wait till after the game is done to do the interaction. So let's see if we've got anything for this. Good vibes. 
Good Sims love to bask in the positive emotions of other Sims. Yeah, so I think she's just very happy that Julia's happy. You know, they're obviously having a good time. She's enjoying herself. She's glad that she's finally getting a chance to catch up with her after everything being crazy. And let's see what else we got going on down here. So we got the whole cheerful decor thing. She is happy from having an excellent holiday yesterday, like from watching the TV show premiere. Oh, and I also had Rachel do it um, because when I went back into the game before recording the part, it had fixed itself so that she could actually watch premiere. So kids can watch it. Um, but I think it just got stuck on her not being able to do it from being a toddler. So I had her do it as well. So she watched the TV shows, although I'm still not sure if like there were TV shows that were for kids. I'm thinking she's watching, you know, a TV, like a, a premiere of a different TV show, like more of a, a, a program that's for someone her age. Okay, but it is almost 2 o'clock, so I think we're going to have to wrap up this game shortly and switch gears over to Brendan, because I did already set up the whole birthday party, so... Madison, Rachel, and Robin are all invited, of course. And I also invited the Betas and their daughter. And then I invited, uh, who else? Oh yeah, Connor's mother is also going to be there. So I got a bit of explaining to do around that. So that's definitely going to be very interesting having her and Madison both there. But it is 2 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and end this game. And we are going to switch gears over to Brendan. We are here at Brendan's apartment. And the woman that he just finished hugging is Erica Kent who is Connor's mom, because as I said back in, I don't know what part it was. It, was, it was a while ago, I said that she's not really in the picture. She decided right before his birth that she didn't really want to have the responsibility of raising a child at that point, so she hasn't really been much of a part of Connor's life, but she does still come around for birthdays and all of that. That's really when he gets to see her, but she wants to change that. So, um, you know, actually, we'll go over here and wrestle with her because he's really excited to see his mom. So he's just running up to her. He doesn't quite, like, understand the whole situation, like, why he only sees her some of the time. But he is really excited to see her. But anyway, as I was saying, she wants to kind of change the situation because she's decided that, you know, she does, she does think that she wants to be a part of his life now. Like, she feels bad about the way she handles things. And she came to Brendan and said... Look, I want to try to make this work again. I want to try to be a family. I still care about you. I'm really sorry for what I did. I want to get back together. I want to be a part of Connor's life. And as you can see, he does have a romantic relationship with her. He still does care about her, but he's just not sure because of what happened in the past. Like, he's worried that he's going to say yes. He's going to let her move in. They're going to try this thing again, and then she's just going to realize that it's a lot of work to raise a kid, and she is just going to flake. She's just going to back out, and then... It's going to hurt Connor even worse. Um, yeah, let's start. You know, she's just worried. He's just worried that it's going to be, it's going to be worse. And his son's older now, so he can understand more and he doesn't want him to get hurt all over again. So he's just kind of standing here watching the two of them interact, kind of, you know, trying to make up his mind even more. Because, you know, there is also Madison who just walked in who he kind of felt like there was a romantic thing beginning with. So that's part of why, like, things have been so awkward, why he's kind of been backing off because he's just he's just trying to figure this thing out because he doesn't want to continue whatever it was that was going on with Madison while he's trying to decide whether or not to get back together with his with um Erica here so yeah that's why he's kind of been cold lately and then he's just not even sure like whether things would work out with Madison because while well, she thinks he's sending mixed signals he she's definitely sending mixed signals to him as well like she's not really it's not really clear to him what her intentions are and what she wants out of it so he's just worried that if he says no to Erica and then, oh, why is she so sad? I don't know if she's just upset because I haven't given her an answer yet, but you know, she, he's worried that he's going to say no to things with Matt, with um, Erica and then nothing, you know, nothing's going to work out with Madison at all. But then again, at the same time, he's kind of like, he's not sure if it's even going to work out with either of them. So that's just kind of the dilemma he's in right now. It's not really like a, a head versus heart kind of a thing. It's more like a head versus head thing because there's different ways in which being with Erica and being with Madison are logical. Because on the one hand, like, the ideal situation is to have Connor's actual mother in his life. That's the least confusing thing. But at the same time, like, he's worried that she's going to flake, as I said. But then Madison seems like she would be a more steady presence in Connor's life. Like, it's less likely that she's going to flake on the child-raising front. Because look at what she's been doing with her nieces. So he feels like she's going to be a reliable mother figure for his son. Whereas he's not sure about Erica, but then Erica is a bit a lot clearer about her romantic intentions than Madison is. So I don't know, maybe it is a little bit of a head versus heart thing, but you know, both are logical and he obviously cares about both. So that's really the dilemma that he's in. 
And I know love triangles are overdone, but someone did suggest the situation and I just really like the idea of it. And look at that. Madison and Erica are talking. Like, I don't think, I don't think Madison exactly, well, I mean, I think she knows that she's Connor's mom, but she doesn't exactly know like what's going on behind the scenes. But you know, she's being pleasant. Like she's, she's a really good person. She's not really prone to getting jealous over these things. So it's just really cool to see all of them sitting here and talking to Connor and, you could tell Erica really does care about him. Like, I feel like she genuinely is having second thoughts about the way she did things and really wants to try to actually be there for Connor. But the thing is, it's just a wrist that she'll flake. And why on earth is she wearing that? Like, I swear she just, like, randomly changed. Um, let's try to get some of these birthday activities going on. So let's make a cake. So we'll cook a... Uh, let's make a hamburger cake. I don't know. I just really like making hamburger cakes for toddlers um but yeah yeah he he does he is i don't know he's just not sure if there's really gonna be like the romantic relationship with erica is gonna be back to where it was in the past like after everything that's happened between the two of them because he did love her in the past they had a really great relationship but then the whole having a child early thing just kind of like threw a wrench in that so i don't know it's just you get that you get it there's a lot going on here so i love to know what you all think of this situation um i mean some of you like i feel like most of you are probably gonna want him to not get back together with Erica, but I don't know. I'd just be interesting, interested in hearing what you think. And Erica is, of course, not a bad person. You know, like, she's a good person. She just got put into a really tough situation and made the choice that she felt was best for herself at the time, although it maybe was a tad selfish. And he is also a little bit bitter about the fact that she missed out on the really tough years of raising Connor, like the terrible twos and all of that, and the potty training, and just the most challenging things about raising a kid. Like, he had to do all of that on her own, on his own. And then now she's coming back into the picture when it's about to be smooth sailing. You know, maybe not smooth sailing, but relative smooth sailing compared to the, the toddler years. But we are on making that cake. Okay, are we... Please continue making that cake. I feel like people are blocking the oven, so he's having a hard time doing it. Yeah, Rachel is right in front of the oven, so kind of giving a hard time. And there we have Rachel. Oh, that's so cute. I wish we could control her and actually have her talk to Juliet or... Connor, but we can't, but still, I just thought it'd be really fun to do things from Brendan's side. Alright, please get back to making that cake. We really need to have an actual cake, because this is a birthday party. Yeah, I'm not really, I honestly shouldn't have done a gold event for this, because I'm really not paying attention to the goals much. I just kind of forgot about that. I mean, we'll try to do some of them. We already got a bronze medal, so that's good, but I don't know. I'm just not too worried about getting a gold here. So what is Connor up to? So he is- Oh no! <laughs> I was like, oh good, he's using the adult potty, but no, he is like- <sighs> I mean, his father's making a cake right now, so he can't do this. I'm just gonna hope someone else stops him, because he is just like, splashing toilet water up. Look at that! That is disgusting! You're splashing nasty toilet water up into your face, like you're giving yourself a toilet water face wash. <laughs> that is disgusting, like I just saw it dripping off of his face. You are disgusting. <laughs> Oh, kids, yeah. <laughs> See, look at what Erica missed out on. Uh, hey, neighbor, I'm bored. Want to hang out for a bit? I mean, you're already here at her party. What are you talking about? Let's see if we can have Connor hang out with... Oh, she just hugged Julia. That's cute. Um, let's have Connor hang out with Juliet for a little bit. So we can... Oh, I think he hasn't really fully introduced himself to Juliet. Um, so we'll invite her to dance. And we have made our cake. So let's get onto the counter and put the candles on it before someone steals it. So you can go right there. And then let's get those candles on it. And I'm just going to get, how much time do we have left? we got two hours left. So I'm just going to get right to the aging him up. So yeah, I'm really excited. I don't know, I just always, I, I said this in the last part, but I just always love aging up child sims and toddlers and teens and all of that. So let's go ahead and ask for, oh, oh wait, let's do it from him. I mean, it doesn't matter, but uh, let's go to help blow out candles. We'll have Connor blow out the candles. Yay! And then look at Erica dancing. It really feels so weird to not be controlling Madison, Rachel, or Robin. Like, I just keep thinking I can control them, but I can't. What are you doing? Okay, no, 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 let's not do the high chair. Okay, are we doing it? Blow, come on, for oh, Pete's sake. Help block candles, Connor, let's do it. I feel like it's the lack of space that's making things a little tough, but we should definitely be able to do this. All right, let's uh, help him blow out. Let's, uh, let's get a screenshot of this. I don't know, I just always like getting pictures of the moment they... Blow out the candle. It's always really cute. All right, I think that's good. All right, so we'll grab that and then watch this. I'm so glad they fixed the whole not being able to change the speed of tab mode thing because I was dealing with that issue in the last part and it made it really hard to go into tab mode and take pictures. 
All right, so we got Sabu. So we are at level one of the mental skill, level two of the motor skill, level one of creativity, and level two of social. So we got to pick this out. And he did have the wild trait. Um, so we did give Matt or not Madison, um, Rachel the motor one. I feel like that would suit him. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're not really going to be playing as him. So I'll just give that to him because I feel like it suits him the best. And I also feel like he's just going to be an absolute goofball. Like, he definitely feels like a ham already. So we'll give him a goofball trait. And let's get a look at him. Oh, look at that. He's so freaking cute. And I'll definitely give him a bit of a makeover before the next part. Also fix up some stuff in his room. I mean, we're not really going to see it next time. But I just want to have it done for whenever we um, visit here again. So let's see, Erica sent Connor a gift Look at it for arriving in the mail suit. Aw, I mean, she could have just hand it right here, but that's really cute that she gave him a gift. So let's have him try talking to Erica, and I'm glad, okay, oh, they're just giving a friendly hug. Oh, that actually worked! Oh, look at that. That's good. Yeah, I really don't want to have any romantic interactions go on right here, because he does have that little bit of a romantic relationship with her, but I'm really hoping he doesn't do any flirting, because I, I think he definitely doesn't want to do that in front of Madison. Like, he just kind of wants to not be romantic with either of them that'll make things real awkward in the situation and i think erica is just a, a cute sim like i don't know i just think she's adorable i really like her um so we'll uh, maybe we shouldn't express admiration i know that's not flirty but let's not do it um we'll ask her about her day see how, see how that's been going see how she's enjoying the party uh let's go ahead and what else can we do discuss world peace we'll do that for being a good sim oh yeah he was also good what were straights again he is oh yeah and he also has a positive reputation so that's really cool that they can develop the reputation even without being famous i love that that's a, a it's a separate thing so let's see loves outdoor is good in slob right so he's a good sim like madison and it also looks like the party's gonna be ending so that'll be ending in 22 minutes what's he doing giving connor a hug Aww. Oh, hold on. I want to get another screen job. This is so cute. Aw. I just love the two of them. They're so adorable. Oh, and I also wanted to have Connor talk to Rachel a little bit since they were good friends. Or I mean, we could work on having them. They're not actually good friends yet, but we could definitely work on that. It'll be a little bit easier now that they're older. So let's complain about freezing temperature. Oh, he's also really hungry. So let's have him take a piece of that cake. And then we can goof around with her. I don't know, I just feel like it'd be adorable for these two to just become really good friends. Like, I just want them to become best friends. Ooh, her emotional control went up. Um, so let's... I don't know, let's complain about problems, although we should really let him get on having that cake. Alright, happy birthday, someone left you a nice new dresser in your household inventory. Maybe it was a hint to start dressing your new age. Oh, that's... I haven't seen this before, that's really cool. I want to see what dresser it is. Because I'll definitely put this out in his room if it's something good, so it's this one. Uh, I mean, we could do it. What did I have in here as a dresser? I had this thing. You know what? I'm probably going to sell that and just put something else in because I like what we have been there for more. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'll just keep the furniture he has as much as I can. All right, so I think everyone has left. Yeah, Rachel or Robin's still hanging out, but I think she's going to be leaving shortly. So now that the party's over, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. So if you enjoyed the video, think, wait a minute. <laughs> Did these two just go back in here to woo? <laughs> I guess the party really got their edges rubbed. I don't know. <laughs> okay then, so it um, looks like they're having a good night. Anyway, I'm going to leave off here. So if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and bye.